Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to the channel for something a little bit different. Now, we've done a lot of F1 Manager over the last couple of years, but I do play other games as well, and I do like to stick something else on the channel every now and again. And uh, this is the latest offering. It is a brand new game, comes out on Thursday, November the 7th. It's Empire of the Ants. Now, I've had my eye on this for... Uh, several months now i've had it wish listed on the store and uh, it's really caught my attention it's a, as a game i thought might be kind of cool to play uh so it's a um a kind of a strategy game uh with a bit of exploration in it a bit of uh, real-time strategy fighting uh where you're controlling uh the ants against uh, uh other enemies that you have to fight as well uh, and there's some basic explor uh, you know, exploration missions thrown in as well. It's, it's kind of a, a three-in-one in terms of how the game itself works. Uh, it's published by uh, Oscillus Studios and developed by uh, Tower 5. And Home Run contacted me a few days ago and uh, asked me if I'd uh, like a copy of the game to... Uh, maybe put a video or two up on the channel uh, and I said sure I'd, I'd love to give this game a go uh, so here we go with Empire of the Ants now uh, there is a multiplayer mode that is uh, I think more purely uh, the RTS side of it I haven't had a chance to play that yet um, servers were online at very brief times before the embargo lifted which was uh, a little earlier today uh, but the uh, the servers were online last week and I didn't get a copy of the game until it's pretty much too late to join uh, in with the multiplayer test so I don't know how the multiplayer works but we are going to play through the uh, the story mode uh, it's about a 20 hour story mode according to the store listing uh, we get to experience an immersive journey and defend our lands through tactical and strategic battles in an epic microscopic world. So uh, we get unconventional legions with which to wage war, shaping our strategy by choosing our roster wisely with the uh, starting support and super predator legions, which we will go through uh, when we get to one of those missions. Uh, upgrading our nest tiers to access stronger legions. Uh, we can go for sort of defensive uh, options or quite aggressive options in there as well. Uh, we do have some uh, interesting little special abilities um, with how to uh, throw in some special hive powers as well. Uh, and yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at it. So uh, the campaign itself is uh, inspired by Bernard Weber's best-selling saga, um, where the fate of the colony rests upon our antennae. So the hive itself is in hibernation. It's just about waking up, and that's where we pick things up. I'm not going to talk too much over the top of the game in this opening uh, sector but I will pop back in from time to time so sit back and enjoy Empire of the Ants
so here we are then inside the game world and as you can see it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and the soundtrack is so relaxing as well uh, i have spent many hours playing through this game already of course we're restarting from scratch here deleted all the game data so i can uh, do a completely fresh playthrough with uh, nothing unlocked And this opening section is all about learning how to control the ant. Uh, how we can move. Water will kill us. We get a very, very small window if we do land in water to get back out of it before we drown. But you get a quick reset back to a nearby point if that, uh, if that does happen. So, as you can see, we have a bestiary where we just encounter animals and then or creatures, and that automatically adds an entry. Uh, so, we've already seen the butterfly for obvious reasons that we're chasing it. Uh, we've got aphids as well, which I think we just jumped over. Where are the aphids? really easy to uh, get yourself stuck in a loop <laughs> if you're not careful with the controls where you just keep looping up and down on the surface like that you've got to be really careful where you're uh, sort of aiming Genuine, genuinely, the uh, the controls feel pretty intuitive. You can climb and walk pretty much any surface at any angle, which uh, is really cool, pretty cool. You can run, but you gain a lot less control when you do that. Um, and you tend to bounce <laughs> quite a lot as well uh, so it's definitely something you need to think about you can't just run everywhere because you could easily end up killing yourself doing that then we're going to talk to one of our sister ants from the colony Let's see what she has to say So we have a couple of items to scan. The scanning in this game uh, is not done by walking up to it and just sort of pressing a button to scan it. You actually have to uh, explore the item itself. There'll be a whole series of little uh, locations on the item that you have to, uh, to collect. Build up a picture of it. So we will do that now as we... Uh, scan the football so you'll see these little white dots on items and you walk over them and that's how you scan you have to 
find the different scent molecules that are dotted around it. Fifth one should be here on the top. There it is. So, we now have a scan of a huge sphere made of leather. More commonly known as a football. Let's go and scan the other item. go we have a food resource report back to our sister So other things that we uh, sort of have uh, to help build a picture of the area are uh, mer memory pheromones as well, left by other ants. These are little, uh, little stories told, in a sense, of recent happenings. Alright, that's this opening mission pretty much done. We just need to head back to the uh, main colony now.
It's such a pretty game.
All right, now that we've had a little, uh, a little nosy around, let's go do this first mission. This mission will give us our first real taste of the RTS elements. We have uh, two little legions of ants to command here. Uh, a legion of warrior ants and a legion of gunner ants. Uh, we can tap between the two of them. Uh, well, we will be able to once we get proper control. But for now, we need to uh, use the aim and order the warriors into position here. There you go. Now we can tap between our units. We don't do any of the actual fighting ourselves. We uh, we leave that to our legions, but we do act like a, a battlefield general. So let's go and engage. Different units have different strengths. And there is like a a circle of uh, almost like rock, paper, scissors as to uh, what unit beats the other unit, beats another unit. We will be fighting. Uh, <laughs> I do like watching the fight sequences. The ants will just, you know, grab and start pummeling the bugs. And the bugs will do the same to us as well. But it's kind of cool watching the fights up close. Uh, we need to head off and scout over here. And we found a termite nest, so we're going to send our gunners just there and the warriors. We're going to send them here to attack the nest itself. And let's get a nice high strategic viewpoint. A little bit closer so you can see the combat. And there we go, we've captured the nest, which has given it uh, a new ant symbol. And these are our basic defensive ants. 
that have uh, popped out. So uh, nests uh, took me a little while to figure out, but uh, they have uh, various different sections here. We have a defense, uh, we have an economy, uh, a legions, um, a powers area, and then an information area as well uh, some of those are, are still locked out but uh, we're going to start off by uh, doing what it wants us to do so we're going to build a unit of workers now each nest has a certain maximum number of chambers that it will be able to support and some upgrades will need chambers others won't but you can see we are now slowly building a unit here you can speed up the, the construction by using food. Uh, so we're going to do that here. And you see the top right corner, we have an amount of food that we have for this mission and an amount of wood as well. And those can regenerate very, very slowly, or we can accelerate that by actually finding resources out the world so uh, as you can see with our unit here we can send them out here to the pine cone and they will gather more wood let's send them off to do that and while they're off and doing that we are going to continue to upgrade the nest so we're going to build the wood barrier And we're also going to build some nest gunners as well. speed up the building of the wood barrier. Okay, we've got a unit of workers, worker termites, that are coming to uh, intercept us. So this goes back to what I was saying earlier about the, uh, the rock, paper, scissors. Um, workers are strong against gunners, weak against warriors. So the warriors will beat workers, workers will beat gunners, gunners will beat warriors. Uh, so we are going to use our warrior legion to attack that worker termite legion. Meanwhile, our workers are going to continue just going back and forth. We could grab all of our legions if we needed to. The only one that needs to heal is our worker legion. Sorry, our warrior legion. Uh, so we're going to send them there. I think we might have to send all of them there actually so we'll do that and we have more enemy workers on their way over we'll send the uh, gunners out here to support
see how warriors are actually engaging both units there. Now our gunners are going to join in and provide some support. And there we go. Nice and simple. Our job here is done. I am to return the Bella Cat. Before we do that, just have a quick little explore. Once you reach the end of your gaming area, the screen does that black and white fade. I'm just looking to see if there's anything for us to uh, scan or get information on. Found another butterfly. There we go. And we immediately have another combat situation. Uh, and those worker termites will kill our gunner legion if we're not careful. So we're going to pull them out if we can. Nope, they're locked in combat. We'll get the warriors in there to back them up. The warriors should make very quick work of the worker termites. See how fast the health of our gunner unit is going down. There we go, we have saved them, so... Send them to a nest. Uh, we have interest over here some lost marauders if we can uh, kill the firebugs then we'll be able to free up a load of food which we can send to the nearest nest So it's asking us to build a chemical lab. So we'll go to the information tab here. 
Uh, we also need to build a cartographers as well. So we'll get that building. Uh, we need a mushroom farm and a wood yard. We're going to build a mushroom farm on this one. You can't build a mushroom farm and uh, a wood yard on the same one. And there's the chemical lab. We'll get that built as well. And you can see we don't have any chambers left on this one. Uh, might prove problematic going forward. We do have another nest over here. Let's get some upgrades going on this one. Potentially, uh, we do actually have a, another unit over here as well. That's our uh, our gunner nest over here. So let's get a wood yard going on this one. Okay, uh, now we can build a veteran cartography unit. And we won't have any chambers left on this one for something else. So if we need to build a legion, that might be problematic. powers and you can see this upgrade here is already done but we don't have enough chambers to build the reinforcement hall so we'll have to do that from another nest we'll do that from this one over here See, this is our warrior nest. So we select our warrior unit and then select the nest that they come from. This is how we can do an upgrade this way. The other way is to uh, actually come onto the, uh, the Legion area itself and then find the upgrade this way. So if you're not at the nest, then you can do it from distance. Quite help, uh, helpful. Uh, so we're going to do that with the gunners from distance. So we've got the gunners selected. We'll find their nest, and then we'll hold down X, and we can upgrade them to the next tier. Now, the only reason we can do that is because we have the uh, chemical lab. Without the chemical lab, you can't upgrade to the next tier. And now we need to kill the firebugs. So we've got to wait or use food. We're going to use some food. Let the warriors go off and do their thing. And we'll let the gunners just slowly level up. Upgrading a legion destroys the original and replaces it with a more powerful version back at its source nest. Uh, I do think we should probably try and get a legion out from here as well. Which means we need to uh, potentially destroy some chambers. But let's get our workers uh, sorry, our warriors into combat first and worry about that in a minute.
we'll use our reinforcement power. There we go. Slightly heal the Legion. And now we can send these uh, isolated ants to the nearest nest with the food that they have collected. Yeah, another very simple little mission and that's where we're going to end this episode uh, we will continue with our playthrough on the story mode when we come back uh, I hope you like this first look at uh, Empire of the Ants plenty more to come and uh, we'll work through the entire story mode uh, here on the channel that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob, and I'll be back with more Empire of the Ants very soon.